This model represents a piece of skin, very much simplified. I've made the skin surface blue and the subcutaneous margin, the deep surgical margin, red. The edge of the specimen is yet another surgical margin, the peripheral margin. On the skin surface, this green nodule is the lesion, which is the reason for surgery. The surgeon probably wants to know if the lesion is out or not. The most interesting peripheral margin is this one, where the nodule seems to be closest. I can measure the distance macroscopically. I also want to slice the specimen so that I can measure the distance to the margin under the microscope. Remember, both the specimen and the lesion exist in three dimensions, so we have to consider the other margins. Depending on the size of the specimen, my first and last slices might not include the lesion at all. In that case, we will be able to say that excision is complete in those sections. I don't want to cut exactly in the middle of the nodule where it's closest to the margin. I'll go slightly to one side. This is because when my technical colleagues are preparing the slides, they trim a little of the tissue first. So we have here the two ends, which are uninvolved by the lesion, and the three middle ones, which do contain some lesion. And that's how I deal with a simple skin lesion.